Well, <laughs> well, Tim Robbins may look like Earl Wrightson with that vagabond king beard. <laughs> But actually, he's got an 85-mile-an-hour fastball by now? Yes. And the beard, incidentally, is for a new project. I don't look like this in normal life. The beard doesn't give the ball an extra, no. an extra dip and dive? No. How does one develop an 85-mile-an-hour fastball who's not been a professional pitcher at all? Well, uh, I've played baseball, so I've had an arm. Like, I usually play third base, so you have to have a pretty quick arm Indeed. at third base. Yeah. Uh, but I learned when I went down to North Carolina that uh, how to really get a power pitch going. I mean, it's, they it's know truly, power pitches down there. It's truly in the legs. It's not in the arm. And Striding off the rubber. Yeah, right? pushing off. In fact, uh, take us, if you will, to a rather unique audition, I guess, you had when you had to pitch for yeah, Director Shelton. Uh, after I proved myself as an actor, I had to prove myself as a baseball player. And uh, we went down to the parking lot of the Columbia Pictures uh, back lot in Burbank Studios. and. And so you let fly. I let fly. Almost took Costner's head off with a pitch, but... Uh, but that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the part. Was this a picture where people like Shelton, the filmmakers themselves, were sticklers for an authentic look? In baseball? Yeah. Could that have killed you, for example, had you not been able to throw a ball? Oh, I wouldn't have been cast. If I, I'm, Ron was adamant about anyone he cast being able to play ball. As a matter of fact, one guy came down that couldn't play too good, and he sent him home. It was in the contract. It was true. I mean, it's it's Ruthless. one of the problems. You well, know, one of the problems with baseball movies is that too often they use people that th you know can't throw or throw you know in a funny way, mm -hmm. you know, or can't bat. You know, you can't fake that. That's important. It's important. In a movie like this, I suppose authenticity is important to baseball fans. But what appeal do you think this movie will have to the non-baseball fan? Well, I. I th I was just talking to a woman actually that hates baseball and said she loved the film. I think it's uh, got enough, and it truly isn't really about baseball. It's set in minor league baseball. It's a setting. It's a backdrop. But what the pl what the movie is really about is about relationships and how people mature and how people find each other and uh, how uh, the the whole notion of the hero is not as uh, important as some some Americans put it. Tim, you've got layers on the layers here. Uh, people looking at you now may already have noticed that you're not at all like the character in this picture. This is acting, isn't it? Yes, this is acting. <laughs> Contrasting with <clears throat> Luke, who is Tim Robbins? Uh, help us with that distinction, would you? Well, uh, that's a hard question. Yeah. Um, it's I, a high hard one. If uh, know thyself, uh, I, I am uh, contrasting with Nuke, I'm a lot more serious uh, uh, about life and uh, I, I read a lot and I tend to stay at home a lot and try and I have um, an acting group that I work with that occupies my time when I'm free from mm -hmm. movies. In fact, so, could I follow up on that just a moment? Mm -hmm. With Actors Gang and work that you've done uh, in France, do you enjoy the kind of audience participation traditional to baseball? Would you like to see it happen more in the theater? Oh, absolutely. Our audience, uh, I think too, too many uh, modern theater companies ignore their audience, I think almost with contempt. I th what we do with the Actors Gang is we involve the audience uh, in a very participatory way. We, we play lines directly to them. We involve them uh, through the action. It's very. It's never. Uh, it's never uh, a notion in a, in an actor's gang show that you are the audience and this is the action. There is no wall. It's always a, yeah. a conglomeration, a sharing between the two. It's a very exciting theater to watch. It's how theater was born, really. In, in well, the Greek. Russians got back to it for a while in the twenties too. Did they? In the Meyerhold business. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And Brecht and. Uh, and we, we take a lot from the Commedia dell'arte and Kabuki and uh, try to mesh these styles to create a, an event, truly uh, a, uh, a spectacle, epic theater. See, this is not Nuke talking. As a matter of fact, when a baseball gets in the hands of Tim Robbins, better duck. That's a compliment. <laughs> I'm John Tibbetts with Tim in Los Angeles for KCTV 5.